And so welcome to Blender. This is natively set up for animation. So in this video, we're gonna teach you how to set up Blender to make it really easy for 3D print design and also set up your 3D printer inside of Blender so you can kind of keep a frame of reference when you're designing. And you may not see all this down here. Yours may look a little different. Let me pull up something real quick. You don't have to do this, but you may see something more along the lines of this if this is the very first time you've ever opened Blender. And you can just select, you know, which mouse do you want? Uh, Blender used to select with the right, which was really weird, but now they're kind of going with the rest of the world and doing uh, left selection. So I would just keep it here. That's what this tutorial is gonna be, all left selection. Uh, spacebar action, when you hit spacebar, you want it to do play, that's fine. You can do different ones and you can always change this. I just wanted to give you a heads up if this is your first time. But what we're gonna do is go to open. So you should still, you should still see open here. If not, you can just click out and go to file, open. And I'm gonna just click on the left-hand side here for downloads. And you want to find your Blender for 3D printing layout default dot blend. This is a project file that you should have downloaded. If not, it should be right below this video, or you can go to blenderhack.pt.live and that will let you download this as well. And we'll just open it up. And there you go. Now we're set up for 3D print design. The grid is now in millimeters. So each little block here is uh, 10 millimeters and if we keep zooming in you'll see more and more blocks and there's little millimeters so now everything's in millimeters um, we've got a monkey set up here for you and we've got your 3d print volume right up here so pretty much everything is set up the only thing you really need to do is go to a 3d printer over here twiddle this down click on your printer volume and i've just i'm using a cr10 printer so i just called it that but you can double click you know, and name your printer, anything that you want it to be. I'm just gonna keep CR10. And now what we can do is down here in the dimensions, and if you can't see that, you wanna hit N on your keyboard, just N for uh, notification. So N will bring that up and we'll just type in your printer size. So say if you had a smaller printer, you could do 100 and then just hit enter. You can click on the second one and do maybe 100. And then maybe the Z, you know how tall it is. Maybe your printer can only print like 150 millimeters, we'll say. Now you've got a little bounding box for your designs. You can also go up to the top right and click on this little ball right here. And we've got some materials on it. I've also got some lights set up for you um, so that really is it. Everything's in millimeters now. All your effects will be in millimeters. Uh, we can see your actual 3D print size. And we've got a live studio set up for you. So the last step, and this is the challenge for this video, is to make sure that you save this. So to do that, you only have to do this really once. So we want to go to File, Defaults, and we're going to Save Startup File. And that's going to make Blender start up like this every time so it's ready for 3D print design with your 3D printer size. So we'll say save startup file, and it's gonna ask you again. So you have to click twice and say save startup file, and there you go. So now every time you close and reopen Blender, it will be set up like this, and that's the challenge for you. I want you to close Blender, and you don't have to save it, so you can hit don't save, but when you reopen Blender, I want you to see if you've got the same setup. You've got 3D printer with your uh, printer volume name, you've got your studio with lights and cameras, and you've got a place for your flexible designing to take place. So go ahead and try that. Close Blender, don't save it, and see when you open it uh, if you've set it up correctly. So let's go ahead and close it on down. So now let's reopen Blender. All right, and we've got Blender here. We've got the splash page. And now anytime you just, you can just click out or you can hit general. That's what I usually do, just hit general. And boom, look, we've got it here. We've got our tiny little volume for your 3D printer. We've got our lights, we've got Suzanne. And if we switch into our EV Live rendering, we've got our little monkey here too. And I'm just gonna reset mine to 300 by 300 by 400 for my CR10, but keep yours exactly what what your 3D printer is. You know, if you have a 3D printer, just make sure those numbers are your, you know, build dimension size. So now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's start designing. So let's, before we dive in, it's always good practice to save. So we'll go to the top left, do file, save as, 
So I've just got a little blender folder here and I'm just going to maybe create a new folder right here at the top. Blender UI for user interface. And I just double click to go inside that folder. And down here at the bottom, you can just select it or just click on it. I'll call it Blender UI. And just go ahead and hit enter. And notice it added a dot blend for you. So that's just the file extension for the, the projects. And we'll save as. And now notice up at the top of your Blender interface, you should see uh, you know, where you saved it and the name that you called it dot blend. And now let's jump into the next video where we're going to go over the project downloads for this lesson and the keyboard shortcuts for 3D print designers.